by 2050, there will be almost 10 billion people on Earth. So how will things look like? Population growth and increasing living standards mean that agricultural production has to be multiplied. But we cannot intensify agriculture endlessly. It is already a major reason for climate change, leading to emissions, soil depletion, and releasing carbon into the atmosphere. It would be much more sustainable if we could produce food in the forest. Forests are excellent for accumulating carbon and for sustaining biodiversity. So it's a real pity that we cannot eat wood. Or can we? Apparently not like this. However, we are able to break down cellulose in wood into glucose. So actually, it could be possible to produce edible syrup out of wood. First, wood has to be broken down chemically, and then we can break down cellulose into sugars by using enzymes. This kind of uh, processes have been studied for production of biofuels and chemicals. But these are edible sugars. In addition, we could produce soluble dietary fiber from hemicellulose and extract plenty of healthy antioxidants in the process. But we cannot survive by only eating sugar, so we have to take one step further. Sugars can be converted into protein and oil by using fermentation, which means that the sugars are fed to microbes, which convert them into microbial protein and microbial oil. So actually, it could be possible to cover the whole food circle by using wood, carbohydrates, protein, fat, and dietary fiber. So in my project, I am going to develop a process for producing each of these ingredients from wood. And in order to show that it works, I am going to evaluate using these ingredients in bread. So the pieces of the puzzle are there, but they are still not in place. I am going to integrate this process into a completely new pathway from wood to food. If it works for bread, it will work for any kind of food. So my research will allow development of the first food product in history where wood is the major source of nutrients. In conclusion, wood could be a new sustainable uh, food source which would allow uh, cultivation of forest instead of cutting them down to, uh, to make crop lands. This will change the way we think about food because it will change the place of Homo sapiens in the food chain. And finally, it's completely vegetarian. Thank you, Ville. That is a pretty wild idea. Not all of us spend our days thinking about how to make food out of wood. Um, let's say what our jury has to say. Um, our commentator, Miri Koche, go ahead. Thank you, Ville. That was really intriguing. I was wondering how you, can, how you think this compares to traditional farming methods um, to make this sustainable when um, crops can be planted every year and trees take a long time to grow. They do take a long time to grow, but actually the year, yearly uh, production is, is, uh, is pretty much comparable. Of course, their rotation time is much longer, but, but uh, fo forests can be cultivated the same as crops. Thank you, right. Miri. Thank, Thank you, Lila. Thank you very much.